as we can see here we had an update today for csgo which improved fixed changed a bunch of things but uh one significant issue we have here is in the input system multiple actions cannot be bound to one key now this is a giant issue a giant issue this is a significant issue for all users this harms um this impedes a lot of people so i can imagine that valve have made this change in order to fix something but it feels like quite a rudimentary fix to, to like limit how much an undesired behavior can be done but there are many many problems with this so the first one anyone who's played this game long enough will go offline with bots um to test things so i've just loaded into a game and i haven't pressed anything if i as you can see i've got a thousand dollars i'm offline with bots in a casual game and the round's about to end now if i press one button I have $34,464, which is plenty. Also, if I press B, I think it might give me more. Because um, I've bound Impulse 101 to B, which gives more money. But anyway, so what's good about this is now I can buy anywhere on the map. I have 60 minutes to test stuff before the round resets. And as you can see, I pressed one button and um, actually, let me just reset that again. Just to show. So, if I go out here, press one button. If I press number four, fires the HE grenade. If I press my one of my side mouse buttons, fires the flashbang. If I press another side button, fires the smoke grenade. If I press the same button again, it pulls the smoke grenade out or it pulls the flash out or it pulls the HE grenade out. So, there's a lot of issues with this because um uh, well here are some examples of how it works in counter-strike so let me show you for example my grenade binds if we alt tab into my config um so we can see if we take a look at mouse four this is my uh the, the side button of my mouse at the back so obviously we've got two side buttons on the mice so this one is to buy a smoke grenade and the one at the front is to buy a flashbang but not only is, is it to buy a smoke grenade but this command slot eight will is the is the the command to pull out the smoke grenade so if i'm in spawn i can press four buttons any anyone who's played the game enough knows that you don't want to be pressing four to cycle through your buttons so if you've gone deep enough into your config you'll change button four as i've done here for example where it only services the he grenade so if i'm in spawn it'll buy a he grenade in the freeze time if i'm elsewhere and i press the button it will pull out the grenade for me but only the he grenade so in my config the letter t um will this is slot 10 pulls out the molotov or the incendiary grenade and then you've got the uh semicolons here so if i'm a t player it'll buy a molotov if i'm a cc player it'll buy an incendiary grenade because they have separate commands so it ruins stuff like this as well i'm gonna get my if i move my camera out of the way this so because the update themes multiple actions cannot be bound to one key on a basic level even the action of buying a smoke uh, molotov and or pulling one out if you have one that doesn't even work anymore if i'm understanding this correctly um here this is this is what is required so p this is this is what um all the things that i need to do to load the config how i want to train for things sv cheats is one immediately also team balance just lets you like for example um that is so if i every time i press p Every time I press P, it drops some CTs. Now, my V button is bot place. So if I want to test things, then I can place the bots uh, accordingly. I can CSGO, for example. A common thing would be to put a bunch of CTs down and change your shadow settings. If I do that, the game will crash, but that's beside the point. To see how far you can see shadows from, or whatever your reason is. Like, so I press V and I can place the bots around. So that's what the... That's what the auto team balance is, is for. 
max money is just so I don't run out of money while I want to buy more rifles. Maybe I'm testing skins. Like I've got, I don't know, seven AWPs. I might be, if I'm messing around with my, with my uh, loadouts and I want to see what matches these gloves, etc. I can just, uh, you know, have plenty of money. C4 timer is another thing. So you can change the timer. You can make it as fast as possible. For example, um, there was a time where... I wanted to test. All right. So if I'm uh, actually let's just go T side. Another example. Let's say you want to test where you can survive a bomb plant from, but you don't want to wait for the full amount of time. This is the minimum. So let's say I want to see if I'll survive from here. As you can see, the bomb plant's much faster. Now I know, all right, I'll survive. If I have 69 armor or more, then I'll survive in this position. So again, that's another thing that we can test. So no limit on teams. Grenade trajectory is on. Infinite ammo oh, two means that, means that, for example, you could do a full spray and then it'll go to zero. You can reload by anywhere is on. Uh, weapons allowed type count allows you to buy lots of the same weapon, if I'm not mistaken. So you can try different skins. Um, that's the round time, 60 minutes. Buy time, so you can buy anywhere and you can buy basically as, as long as you need. No freeze time, so you're not waiting. Impulse 101 for extra cash. Show impacts. Bot zombies so the bots don't move around. Etc, etc. You press P, it loads loads of stuff. So bind O just resets all of that, basically. So you can see I've got all these bots and so on. I've got an hour. Press O and it resets everything to normal. And yes, CS... Two. Actually, let's move into CS2 now. Oh. So those are many of the ways that um, have been broken in Counter-Strike 2. And I can put infinite ammo, infinite warm-up on. I can put this on. But the problem is I showed you all those specific things that I have. And this, this doesn't really allow for that. And it's never going to be... What each person wants but we need to have the space to do that ourselves so this is the warm-up mode so right now if i press my p button almost nothing happens basically nothing happens maybe it puts fg sv cheats on but apart from that nothing else is working anymore um and also if i try to buy i can't buy here so you're it's just like this is basically a, a pressing me as a user of counter-strike my the buttons on the side no longer do anything. Interestingly, my T button doesn't do anything. So I don't know if I need to re put in input commands or whatever. I don't think I do. I think it's just broken everything essentially. So that's a big issue. So like my mouse free would clear decals. It would also be a ping. Um, it would also if I'm in SV cheats, it'd also be no clip like this. So it'll be all, all of those things. I don't think I've put that particular bind in. Maybe I have. No, I've just put in no clip, but we can even test it. So if we bind mouse three for all of these things. Doesn't appear to work. 